One thing Dallas is going to have to do, it brings us to second down, is stop the Hail Mary. Are, are you yeah, kidding that, me? That Hail Mary he is did it, it again. By now it's in the playbook, right? It's an uh, official play in Mike McCarthy's playbook. It really right? is. Let's get to yeah. it. His third touchdown on a Hail Mary in 13 months highlighted uh, this win over the Giants out at Lambeau Field at the end of the first half. Let's talk about the Hail Mary. It got a ton of tweets online, ton of reactions from guys. Deion Sanders saying, I really don't care who wins, but I want to slap every DB involved in that <laughs> Hail Mary play. Uh, Michael Strahan, a former Giant, said, it is unacceptable when you know it's coming. And there's, there's the key, Chris. How do you defend against the Hail Mary from Aaron Rodgers, especially you know what's coming. Now, you're a defensive lineman. What, what, is the, what is the game plan defensively when you know what's coming at the 50-yard bomb? Well, a lot of teams want to sub in a wide receiver or somebody that can jump really, really high to be the jumper in the end zone to knock the pass down. Teams talk a lot about boxing out at the point of attack when the football is in the air. But to me, I want to go get the source of the pass. I want to come after the quarterback. Teams usually rush three or four defenders. I would come after them with five, create one-on-ones along the offensive line, have my defensive lineman get one-on-one -on -one pass rush. you got to have somebody win in that situation. But putting pressure on Aaron Rodgers, not allowing him to set his feet so he can get the proper trajectory on that pass in order to give his receiver a chance in the end zone. I'm coming after the quarterback right. every single time. I don't want to leave it up to the guys on the back end. And, and you said you're, you're getting your hands up. As a defender, show us the arms that you're putting out right here against Aaron <laughs> Rodgers. It's, it's not easy to throw a 50-yard no, pass no, over something no. like this. Not at all. That's a good technical breakdown, but Chris, as a lineman, aren't you looking back at your DBs saying, just knock the darn ball down? Is it, it just knock the ball down or knock the receiver out of bounds? Even if you get a pass interference penalty, they got to kick a field goal because. Listen, the, the half is over. There's no more time on the clock. You don't think the Green Bay Packers are going to go for it on a goal-to-goal -goal situation. Knock the receiver out of bounds. You force him to kick a field goal. The game is over. I mean, the, you get into the half, and that's the situation. You're not down. <laughs> you're not down 14 to 6. You're down 14 to, to 9, potentially, or 14 to 10, excuse me. So that's the situation. That's the scenario. That's probably how I would play it. That would be frustrating as a teammate, one of those defensive backs for the New York Giants. You mentioned box out. All these guys have played pickup hoops. Everybody knows yes, what box, box out is your man out and you get a touch show me that wingspan again how, <laughs> how, how long is it how long is that See, thing? you can't throw a pass over See, i can't do exactly, anything over exactly, that no exactly. absolutely That's not I yeah i guess easier said than done for the new york giants